Is Biden's intel community going woke on terror? A newsletter distributed to intel agencies from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence pushes for certain terms to be avoided, including Islamic extremism and radical Islam, because they are harmful towards Muslims. And social media platforms are joining in on this. Meta, Meta's oversight board, which recommends policies for Facebook and Instagram, wants to allow users to refer to terrorists using the Arabic word for martyr. In the board's recommendations, it says, quote, acts of terrorist violence have severe consequences, destroying the lives of innocent people, impeding human rights and undermining the fabric of our societies. However, any limitation of freedom of expression to prevent such violence must be necessary and proportionate, given that undue removal of content may be ineffective and even counterproductive. Um, you know, Joey, first of all, let's start with the CIA. Uh, why is the CIA doing this? Why I have avoid these terms? <laughs> I have no idea why the CIA is doing it. I don't know that the CIA is doing this as much as the Biden administration is telling the CIA to do this. Uh, but let me explain something to you. I've fought both of these wars that we had to fight. If, if you consider ISIS its own war, two of the three. Um, I, I fought the war on terror. I fought the war in Afghanistan. I was in Iraq and Afghanistan. What happened there is that poor, uneducated, oppressed people, through their religion of Islam, were absolutely radicalized, turned into extremists, and turned into 12-year-old kids that go around and hook up bombs, or 20-year-old kids that go around and blow themselves up. They preyed on their disparity. They preyed on their ignorance. They preyed on their faith. There is no better way to describe the evil that I saw in those two countries than to call them exactly what they are, which are extremists and radical in Islam, because that's the tool they used to turn these innocent children. If you know the history of Afghanistan, when the, when the uh, Soviets came out, there were all these orphan children. They took the boys and put them in camps, basically, and turned them into future terrorists, which if you do the math, 2001, they're old enough to go to war and die now. They absolutely used religion to turn these kids into evil, and that's exactly what, it, what needs to be stated. Rather than removing a two-word phrase, give a definition, add breath, and an example to what this is. We have a president that I guess thinks this isn't even a threat anymore, so maybe it's not a big deal. But I look at it and see that I still have buddies all over the world fighting this ideology that wants to kill us. And uh, Israel would probably have a thing or two to say about right now, too. Yeah, I mean, we saw it rear its head on October 7th of last year in, in Israel. Um, you know, David, I want to get to this New York Post uh, headline and, and a story. It says this, the Biden DEI avalanche keeps rolling. Vote him out before it buries us all. It goes on to say this, every minute of manpower burned on nonsense like this, conducted to appease the progressive consultant class and its masters in academia, is a minute taken away from actually pursuing and defending the national interests of the United States. I, I mean, to that point, we have an FBI director right now because of our open border policies. We're warning that terrorists are here, mm -hmm. worried about Hamas-affiliated people. I mean, isn't that what they should be focused on, not, you know, correct words? <laughs> well, to something Joey said, which is you've got the Biden administration, you've got the politicos at the tops of these agencies that push a lot of this stuff. The fact is the people who have to fight it boots on the ground or law enforcement know what they're really dealing with. They're dealing with this, this extreme element. But this is also an administration that told us at one point that the greatest threat to America were right-wing extremists. Yeah. What's missing on this list? <laughs> You've got Islamic extremism, radical Islam, Salafi jihadists, Sunni Shia. But what's missing? Are they going to now teach people the definition of Shahid martyr and what it's really about? This is just another push. They're just gaslighting people and trying to force a change in narrative, which doesn't force a change in behavior in kids who have been taught literally to become jihadists and to die in jihad. Alicia? Yeah, words matter, clarity matters. And if you're so busy worrying about what those words are, how are you going to fight the enemy that you can't even decide what to call? All right. Well, thank you. That was a great way to end it. Good job. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.